about 5 45 5 50 p.m august 17th it's august 17th i was headed north on amish fairbank amish boulevard which is from uh, independence i went to get uh, linkages for my front sway bar uh, as I posted, uh, the criminals uh, took the nuts off the front stabilizer bar on both sides while I slept last night. So I had to get parts for it. That cost me $32 at uh, Advanced Auto Parts in Independence, Iowa. There's a, a guy with a beer belly there trying to give me crap. Looked like he was wearing my T-shirt that they stole out of my van, my dirty T-shirt. He looks similar to me in the face, but he's a big fat guy with a big beer belly. I haven't had any alcohol in the last two years. Uh, but about 5.45, 5.50 p.m. or 4.45, 4.50 p.m. today, uh, I just stopped. I'm stopping at the Amish store where I stopped to record this. I was headed north on Amish Fairbank Boulevard here by Fairbank, Iowa, and two white uh, Ford F-150s a stage something one pulled over along the right side of the road before i got to the intersection of uh i don't know what road it is coming from the west it might be dunkerton road which should be uh, i don't know what that number of that road is uh, but it's north of or it's south of um uh was it um be uh well, it's south of Fairbank anyway, and it's on the curves coming north from Independence to Fairbank. Two white Ford F-150s, one pulled to the side of the road on the shoulder for no reason, I think, other than to film what, me driving. There's I have no stop sign. So well, as I was driving by him, there's no stop sign on my part of the road. There's a stop sign on for the other f-150 coming east and she it was a female pulled right out in front of me luckily i was going really slow already and i didn't have to hit the brakes hardly at all so i don't know what they were trying to film there but again doing something to make things unsafe the two f1 white f-150s whoever they are the female and it looked like a large male that pulled alongside on the right side that's what it looked like to me but definitely a female driving the one who didn't yield so charge her with failure to yield and whoever the guy is filming it charge him as an accessory uh, to to that. I didn't break any laws. I went to get parts to fix something. The shit bags, apparently they're network people or unless they're trying to show that I'm in Iowa, that'd be, you know, if they're just showing that I'm in Iowa, let them off the hook. But um, if they're trying to stage lies that I did something wrong or that, you know, me hitting the brakes isn't unsafe or something in this situation. They just made another unsafe situation by trying to pull out in front of me there. So I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't failure to yield. I had no stop sign. But the two F-150s did, the female driving the white F-150. And then she took off speeding in front of me. She was going at least 70 miles an hour on 55 ahead of me. So I was going 55. Wade Allen Heineman, um, it is now 5.06 p.m. August 17, 2024. This will be audio only for youtube.com forward slash at symbol I am W A D E H E I N E M N. And again, after I change clothes, I've eaten a little more than I would normally eat. Uh, my weight fluctuates. I eat more. I'll eat nothing for a couple days sometimes. And then I'll look like my photos and when I was at my parents' red and white barn home the other day. And I took pictures in four lighting conditions to show everyone that that's how I look in different lighting conditions. There are different lighting conditions of four different types, me inside the barn home with dark lighting, me under their deck with semi, semi darkened lighting, me in my vehicle with vehicle, you know, what you'd look like in a vehicle and me outdoors. I took four different yeah, and they're in all four, all four sets or all three or four sets. Yeah, four sets of photos I did there. I did all three different poses for those four lighting conditions. That's why I did that. Look in the pin tweet for all 12 pictures. Um, 
you know, whoever this blonde female is, no connection to her or the F1 white F 150s. Um, and again, unless they're just proving I'm in Iowa and they're staging something, they should be charged with a crime there. Um, because they already know since I posted that some fraud sabotaged my vehicle for the front sway bars. So her pulling out in front of me created another unsafe condition. Luckily, I was going very slow because I saw the white F-150 pull to the side, and it was on a curve. So I slowed down, and I saw that she was going to be pulling in front, but um, I didn't see that until I had already slowed down. But I didn't have to hardly hit the brakes, but I laid on the horn good for her. Um, Wade Allen Heineman, green eyes, not blue, 10.7 inch hands, 52 years old, born 11471, circumcised 1971, no changes since that time. White male heterosexual, always and forever, will never ever be with a male transgender child. I don't care what you are, who you are, how much money you have, or how good you look. I will never ever be with a male. Get it through your fucking heads, okay? I am a man. I'm only interested in natural adult females. I don't care who you are or what you look like or what you got. I'm not interested in males. Not interested in males, transgenders, or children. Got it? Stay the fuck away from me if you're a male. Indications that gays still trying to, you know, convince me that I'm going to be gay with them. I will never, ever be gay or sexual with a male, transgender, or child nor romantic. I've never been and I never will be. It's all fucking stage lies. By criminals, I want them all in prison.